Today, I'm going to show you how to make a ready-to-go podcast about anything, a book, a website, a video, a group of articles, in just minutes using Google's Notebook LM. You'll be amazed at how simple it is. Hi, I'm Roger Dooley. Everyone knows about the big AI models like ChatGPT and Gemini, but the hottest one right now is Google's Notebook LM. It's very different. It hasn't devoured the whole internet. Instead, it knows only what you tell it. It's what's called a raglock model, and it's much less prone to making stuff up. If it answers a question, it can show you where in your content it got the answer. But the most interesting feature is the ability to create audio summaries or audio overviews. These aren't robotic recitations of facts. Instead, each audio overview has two very human sounding AI voices, one male, one female, discussing the content in a very conversational way. They hesitate, they interrupt each other, there are ums and likes and you knows. They sound really human. You can do all kinds of cool things with Notebook LM audio overviews. I uploaded my book Friction and the two hosts spent 15 minutes discussing its key ideas, pulling examples and case studies from the text. Dump a 50-page scientific study in, and you'll get a conversation about the findings and methods you can understand. Put in a website URL, and the host will summarize what the website is about, and they'll sound excited about it. Put a bunch of articles in, and you can listen to a summary while you go for a walk. So, let's get to it. The first thing we do is go to Notebook LM. What you'll see when you get there, if it's empty, you'll see only the new notebook link. I've already got a bunch of existing notebooks. In essence, uh, each notebook is a folder into which you can add content, and then Notebook LM will work only with the content in that folder or that notebook. So let's start a new notebook here. And as you can see, you can add different kinds of sources. You can add PDFs, text files. You can upload Google Docs or Google Slides. You can add a link to a website or a web, individual web page. You can add a link to a specific YouTube video. You can also enter text or paste text from your clipboard. So what I'm going to do just for our experiment here is add a website URL and I'm going to add my website. And as you can see, in just a few seconds, it comes up with a summary of what the website is about. It, it, there are some suggested questions you could ask it about the website and its content. You could try and do an FAQ, um, a table of contents, a study guide, depending on what exactly the content was. Uh, each of these might be more or less useful. Lots of things you can do, but maybe the most interesting thing you can do is create an audio overview. And so what we're going to do, it's pretty simple. There's only one option here. You can click generate. And what it's doing now is creating this conversation that I explained. So it's going to be a few minutes. We'll cut back in just a second. Okay, we're back. That took about four minutes or so to generate. Let's hear what it sounds. I'm not going to play the entire nine and a half minute audio track that it created, but let's just get a flavor for what it sounds like. Okay, so ready to dive deep with us. We're tackling Roger Dooley this time. And he's not just, you know, an author. He's a keynote speaker and a friction hunter. Yeah, catchy title, right? Definitely grabs your attention. Mm -hmm. But before, we're all like, what even is a friction hunter? Mm -hmm. So we'll probably unpack that a bit. Goes right to the heart of why Dooley's work matters, I think. Totally. You've probably bumped into friction as a customer, right? Maybe without even realizing it. Like yeah. that website that just makes you want to scream. Or those endless phone menus, that feeling of, ugh, why is this so hard? Okay, enough of that. As you can see, it's very conversational. The so-called AI hosts uh, seem quite lifelike, and they actually seem to sort of draw on their own experience, such as that is, as if they were human podcasters. Now, one little hack that I've been playing with, there are no controls for this per se. You can't specify a link. You can't specify um, the speakers or genders or anything else. But one little hack that I haven't played with much, but does seem to work is if you find that it creates a summary that emphasizes the wrong points, you can put in some additional text. I created a tiny little file uh, called audio overview instructions, and I told it what part of my website to focus on. I asked it the first time it recorded, it did one of these recordings, 
it came up with a real focus on airline customer experience, which is one of my most recent blog posts. I mean, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with it, but it wasn't really the sort of audio summary that I felt represented my work. So I said, don't mention airline customer experience and instead I'll focus on my speaking and books. And it created a new one and it seemed to follow those directions. It's hard to tell because each one of these will be different. If you delete a recording and tell to do it again, just as with ChatGPT, it won't produce the exact same thing. But in any case, I think this is a great illustration of what you can do. And remember all the different things you can do with this. It's not just for podcasts. Uh, it can be for any way to turn a lot of content into something that's very easy to consume. So until next time, have fun with this. Thank mm -hmm. you.